Hey you guys, it's Jenna Raynell and it's Friday, so today we're talking about the business of yoga and mostly I like to talk about social media. Um, if you don't know who I am, if this is the first time you're tuning into one of my videos, my name is Jenna Raynell. I'm a yoga teacher in the Hamptons and it's a windy day today. There's lots of crazy stuff behind me. Um, I've also done a lot of social media for some larger accounts like Moolah in New York City. Um, the Hamptons Yoga Festival, that's one of my accounts. And I've also doubled my own following, tripled it actually, in just three months. So I just have a few of my top tips for social media. And today I'm going to be focusing mostly on Instagram because Instagram is where the party's at right now. <laughs> all the fun is over on Instagram. Everybody is on Instagram all of the time. It's kind of wild how much time people spend on Instagram. If they're not posting photos, they're scrolling through. I see it at restaurants, I see it on the subway, I see it on the beach. That's all people are doing is Instagramming like crazy because we're visual people. So as a yoga teacher or a studio owner or even just a fitness professional, if you're tuning in, there's a couple tips about Instagram that's going to help you to gain new followers and then also to keep them. So the number one thing that I think new followers look at when they're thinking about, you know, maybe they stumble across your photo by using a hashtag or however they come across your profile, they're looking for a couple different things. So the first tip that I have for you is to take a moment and pull out your phone, look at your profile right now, and look at all of your pictures as a whole. So oftentimes we think that people are only looking at our photos one by one, and that's oftentimes the case, you know, if they're rolling through the feed um, usually you just are looking at one photo, but if someone is deciding whether or not they want to follow you, they're looking at your whole feed and they're looking at it in that gallery view, just not the single scroll. So looking at your profile in a gallery view, does it look like a gallery? Does it look like your brand? So if you were to pull up my Instagram for my yoga business, it's at East End Mermaid Yoga. I suggest you go over there and follow it, see what I'm up to, what I'm posting and when. If you look at it, you see from the gallery view that all of the photos look very similar. They have similar qualities to them, similar tones, and they all have a similar theme that fits my brand. It's very oceany, it's very Hamptonsy, it's summery. Um, and people know what they're gonna get when they follow my Instagram account. It's gonna be beaches, it's gonna be the Hamptons, it's gonna be summer, it's gonna be inspiring, it's gonna be yoga. <laughs> so it has a theme and it looks like they all could be a spread in a magazine. So they have a similar theme, they go together well, and they look beautiful together. Similar color tones, all of that. So look at your Instagram feed and see if it has that gallery type feel that all the photos kind of go together one way or another. And that's gonna really push someone over the edge. If you think about any of the time that you've opened up a new profile, someone else's profile, and they just have this beautiful look, like they all go together, like, wow, these photos are beautiful. Um, you're more likely to just click follow. Like, yes, I want to see more of this popping up in my feed randomly throughout the day. So that's my tip number one for the day. Um, another tip, and one of the biggest things that I see on Instagram that kind of makes me go, don't do that, is it's easy to get caught up in using Instagram as free promotion 24-7. So a lot of times I see studios and yoga teachers, the only thing that they use social media for, and especially Instagram, is just to promote. And that is going to make someone very easily unfollow you, unless they're the type of person that uses Instagram to check up on your schedule and what you're doing. But for the most part, people just want to chill out and relax and not think too hard about things on Instagram. So here's my rule with social media and promotion. So 80% of the time, you want to just be sharing. No promotion at all, just completely either educating people, teaching them yoga pose, or inspiring them through, you know, what, what your surroundings may be at that time, or a quote, something that inspires you. And then 20% of the time, you can promote something because chances are they're going to get to know you and like you through your other posts. And then every once in a while, if they see like, oh, she has a workshop coming up, great, good for her, maybe I'll go. And share your promotions. I, I hate the idea of selling. It makes me feel icky, and I feel icky writing salesy type things. 
But I know that self-promotion is important. So instead of promoting, share. So I think saying like, join me or join us. Join in on this fun that we're doing. Share the experience with them. Um, and that will make people quite happy. <laughs> and you also just see, like I've, I've seen this one studio, all they post is their class times. And that drives me crazy. Because if I want to know their class schedule, I'll just go look on their website. But for me to pull up Instagram, I want to see like what's happening in their studio right now. Like I want to see a picture of it. I don't want to see a picture and then the schedule superimposed over top of it. So share with pictures. So that kind of leads into the third one. Be careful how many words you use as pictures. So sometimes, you know, if your account happens to be just quotes, like I know there's one yoga account, it's like yoga inspiration. And there's a lot of, they're known for just sharing yoga quotes, known for like sharing really inspiring yoga quotes from, you know, whoever. And that's what they're known for. But I think in general, if you're looking for that gallery look, you don't want every photo or every other photo to be a quote or to be something with words. So can you get creative with those words? Can you incorporate those words into a picture so it's not just superimposed over top of a picture um, or it's just like words on top of a colored background? Can you be more creative? Maybe writing something onto a notebook and setting it up beautifully, staging a beautiful picture? Or do you even need to superimpose the words over top at all? Can you just simply show a picture, maybe of you in a yoga posture, maybe of your studio, maybe of a behind the scenes thing? Share something inspiring in the caption, leave a space, and then share the word that you want it to say. So if you want to share you know, this workshop or this class, share that underneath in the caption not so much on the gallery because then when you know you go back to that profile and you look at the gallery view you're gonna see a gallery of words which doesn't have a very beautiful appeal to it so I always try to have you know typically when you pull up someone's profile you're gonna see the first six pictures maybe nine if you're lucky depending on how long their um, profile bio is so in those six to nine pictures I only want to see one picture that has words So if I'm gonna share just a quote or like something silly I shared this one that was like um, I'm just here for the Shavasana and it was just those words and that's funny but it was only that for a time those are the only words in those six to nine photos that you could see when you first showed up so those are three of the biggest mistakes that I see often and the easiest things to fix and just to be a little bit more intentional about what it is that you're post I'm realizing that it's so windy I hope that you can hear me um, just to be a little bit more intentional a, bit, a little bit more mindful of what your profile looks like as a whole and it's going to be more easy for people to potentially follow you. And next week I'm going to talk to you about how you can draw people into your profile and get them to follow you a little bit more readily and easily. Because the first thing is they have to know about you. So we're going to talk about that next week. Um, so that's all. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up this video and leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any other questions about Instagram. If anything wasn't clear, I know it's hard because I'm not sharing my screen with you. Um, but if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer them in the comments. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your evening wherever you are. And I wish you all the best with your social media. Social media is your way to shine and share your light with the world. We're in a digital world and we need more light. So share and shine your light. 80% of the time, shine your light. And then 20%, promote yourself. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. New videos every single week, approximately three a week. Yoga classes on Mondays, life lessons on Wednesdays, and social media, business of yoga on Fridays. Have a beautiful weekend.